I'm always doing the most Finish my cup and reload Let it swing right back Let it swing right back Back, back Hey you guys, welcome back to another video. So in today's video we are going to be doing the 3D French technique or the infinity French and I'm so excited to try this out guys. So I'm going to be using my number 12 rainbow aqua brush from Glitter Planet and today's shout out goes to Rebecca Garcia. Woo! love this comment and if you want to you know be featured in my next video then add lots of rainbows into your comment in the comment section down below. So after seeing this nail, I do link the Instagram to the lady who does this as well. So if you wait for it, it'll come in up and I'll have it in the description box as well. Um, after seeing a picture of the nail, I did instantly kind of figure out how to do it in my head. I was like, oh my God, need to do this. This looks bomb as fuck. And I'm not going to miss out on creating such beautiful art. And I want to try it out like now. So literally after the kids bonfire and swimming, came back and tried out this nail and I was shook to the core with how it turned out on my first attempt like this is my first attempt so following easy steps on this tutorial can help you um, obviously achieve the same as well with a little bit of time patience and a lot of filing okay so as you can see the first step is to create an elongated nail bed or a block color of your choice and to file that crisp so that the side walls are very sharp and straight up at a 90 degree angle from the nail after that you want to choose your color and place that so that it completely butts up to the previous cover powder and you want to apply it in an angle so that the highest point is meeting the nail bed cover then you want to slope it down so that it kind of tapers down low into a gradient and that is what's going to give you the kind of you know shadow infinity 3d effect once you apply your clear so the instagram account is nail curs gosh that went so quick anyway you saw it on screen i'll link it down below as well so you guys can see it she her nails oh my god oh my god amazing definitely check them out um they are a pure work of art so yeah i had to try this out and i'm so freaking honestly like i said i'm shook with how it turned out so as you can see i'm just building that color up towards the smile area and that's just going to give us the definition of the actual color at, in that area and then it will fade down to the shadowed part once we add the clear so this is how it looks from an angle as you can see that color is tapering down and it's not as thick where we want that shadowing So the next step to this look is to come in with crystal clear acrylic from Nailmate and add basically another elongated smile. So you're just doing another reverse French on top of the one you've already done. But this time you're doing it over that the colour that you've already laid and you are also ensuring that you don't go past that colour but you want to make it enough colour that you can see so when you apply the next colour it kind of allows the shadow to be towards the end of the free edge of the clear however you can see the colour the shadow and the smile this is such a technical design I am not gonna lie but it can be achieved just with a little bit of you know steps and effort put in as I say I didn't get taught how to do this I simply saw the picture and kind of you know, had a little think in my brain like, mm, yes, this is how you do it. Because to be honest, I've actually had that effect by mistake before. Do you know when you're like, oh, I've got some shadow in like, damn, um, this is not okay. But actually, look how beautiful it turns out. It's definitely okay. Like, seriously. So anyway, I'm just perfecting the second smile, which is with the clear over the top of Buttercup. And once I've done that, I'll allow it to dry and refine with my hand file. And that's going to give us a nice sharp wall so that when we put our next colour up to it, it's going to be really crisp when we file. And it's also going to give us that really defined, beautiful looking shadow effect. So for my next colour, I'm going to be applying Mint Ninja. And again, I'm applying that right up to the clear smile that I've just applied. And I'm making sure that it's at its highest point here. Because that is where we want the shadow to not be, up here. And then we want the shadow to kind of, you know, fade down and look like it's going underneath the next colour. So 
um, as I'm doing that, I'm ensuring that I'm patting it flat and butting it right up to make sure that there's no bubbles or anything like that. And also stroking it down so that the lowest point is towards the free edge. As you can see here, I'm really using the belly of my brush to ensure that it's, it's most flattest towards the free edge. Also, don't mind me with this colour, I had a few bit. well it wasn't with the colour, my brush had some little bits of glitter in and I had a little bit of glitter on the tissue as well. So don't mind me whilst I just pick these little bits out, fine glitter sometimes is a nightmare, but with nail mate acrylic you do get plenty of time to work that product, so as you can see I was still able to pat it dry and another little piece of glitter did come out of the belly of my brush, but we'll save that one for another day. <laughs> So now that I've placed my colour and I'm happy with it, I'm doing the same process again, coming in with Nailmates Crystal Clear Acrylic and creating a reverse French smile. You want to try and keep the smiles even as possible so that once you file that design it looks like it's got some kind of organisation to it, like it's not just a random, but it would look nice as well with different shapes I suppose. Um, I just wanted to try and keep this kind of symmetrical, almost. I think it did a pretty good job, I love the way it turned out. So once I've applied the Smile, the, the clear acrylic, I do come in with my brush and tuck up and make sure that I have a nice even smile on both sides and in the centre of the smile as well. And you do want to keep adding a bit of monomer to your brush just to ensure that you can work that product nicely. And this is why I love the brushes that we supply on Glitter Planet because look how much of a point that brush has gone into. Even though the shape is a flat oval, I'm still able to work that brush to a point when needed. I'd only do this when doing such things as creating a smile and pushing colours into place. You don't want to work with it as a point all the time because it will just split the brush in the middle. But it just shows the versatility of these brushes. They are honestly so freaking gorgeous to work with. I love them so much. So now I've finished with that and the clear has hardened and set. I'm coming in with my file and as you can see I've refined that so we've got a nice even crisp high wall for the next colour to be placed and butted up to. And the fact we are butting it right up to that high straight wall is what is going to give us our definition when we file and reveal the design. So next I'm using Lilac Rose which is also from Glitter Planet and I'm just again repeating that same process. So you can do this as many or as little times as you want. I just wanted to do quite a couple because I really wanted to get a nice effect and halfway through this I'm not going to lie I was like mm, what if the thought that I had of how to do this was wrong? Like you know, do you know when you have that little bit of self doubt and like I've done all this, took all this time and then file it away and it's just like what the heck? But thank God it wasn't. It was it was cool. So I'm just using the belly of my brush, like I say, to really, really press that down and get an angle on that colour. We want it to be at its lowest point at the free edge. And then we're going to come in with the clear acrylic and create that smile. Also, guys, please don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Ninja Nail Fairy. Um, I'm always posting mini clips, tutorials, family pictures, and things like that. I also have my family Instagram account, which I run with my husband, and that is at the Awesome Andrews. So I'll link that on the screen and down below as well if you guys want to follow our personal lives, which, by the way, is so freaking cool and so fun. Like, we have so much fun. So notice in the back that I'm draining the liquid out of my brush for the clear bead because we want to keep that high. We want to keep the wall quite tall so that the next colour can create that shadow and be super, super crisp. So this is my final smile line and then I'm going to come in with Blizzard White from Nailmate available on my website Glitter Planet and then I'll fill in the rest.
And I know that this is such a long video for one single nail tip demo, but obviously it's quite a technical look and I really wanted to try and leave as much as possible of the process in there for you guys so that you can kind of figure it out for yourselves and hopefully have a go and just have fun creating awesome art in nails. So here is how we are looking right now and I'm going to come in with blizzard white. I wasn't sure what colour I was going to do on the end, whether I was just going to go with le the lemon buttercup again or one of the colours that I'd already used. But I thought no, I'm going to use something different, something that will kind of make the other colours pop and that will look really crisp once I file away. So I'm coming in with that blizzard white and I'm completing the free edge, making sure to butt it up really nicely to the... Um, existing smile line that's already there and wiping away the excess if needed I should have patted this color out a little bit more because I did have an air bubble in there which was a little bit annoying I'm not gonna lie um, but this look still works so I wasn't that mad okay so here is where we're at here is the side view obviously this is on a nail tip so there's not much structure at the second but if you're doing it on a client, of course, you want to ensure that that is there because we need the structure to stop the nails from breaking and to keep your client's nails safe. So I'm coming in with the medium smooth top ceramic bit from Glitter Planet. And I'm going to be using this bit to obviously reveal my beautiful design, which was magic. Not going to lie, it was pure and utter freaking magic. Okay, so here I am, and this is where I get excited. I'm like, oh my god, it worked. Like, I can see the side. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is freaking incredible. So I did turn the tip around, and I speed up the filing process in just a sec, so we're not here all day, but so you can still see the transformation, because honestly, that transformation from the reveal is amazing. Like, it looks freaking bomb. Also guys, if you do try out this design using my tutorial and I've helped you through the process, then please let me know on Instagram or whatever social media you are using so that I can share it on my stories and just see how you guys have followed my tutorial. It makes me so happy to see that I've helped you guys figure something out and shown you how to do a specific design or look. Okay guys, so this is the final result. This is how it would look matte. I've not applied a matte top, top coat. I've just buffed it smooth. And honestly, it looks insane. It looks even better in person. And depending on where the light catches it, the shadows either look really dark or light. And it just looks mesmerizing that is probably the right word mesmerizing so anyway we're going to come in with super gloss no wipe top coat because i want to see this baby glossy i want to see how she pops um so i'm going to apply a nice thick plump layer and then i'll cure in the lamp and show you guys how she looks Okay guys, so mm, damn, she looking good. I am gonna go and cure it in a sec so I don't knock this and get any smudges. Um, so yeah, this is the final result. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something from it. Don't forget to check out the original, you know, creator of this look. I'll link her down below. If not, it's on screen. And always remember, you are bomb.com. Let us fuck and don't ever let anyone tell you any different because you've got this and I love you. Mwah. Bye. I'm always doing the most, finish my cup and reload Let it swing right back, let it swing right back